Hello everybody, I'm going to be talking about purses and life insurance again today. Um, but today I'm going to focus on the accessories of life insurance policies which are considered um, riders on the policies, features that you can add onto the policy. And so I think of them about accessorizing because I like to accessorize. I think that you probably do too. So I'm going to be referring back to my purses and some accessories as I explain these important matters to you. So first we're going to talk about um, these riders on the life policy. And these riders will be on term. You remember my term purse? It could be on whole insurance and it can also be on universal life policies as well. Um, the riders all have different verbiage for them based on the type of policy it is. It also depends on what company you're with and how those writers work, so just don't forget, fine print is important. And if you're unsure at any time, I can help you with that. I can review what you have, because we wanna make sure that you know what you have and what you don't have, okay? But let's get right into those accessories for those uh, policies. So here we have another uh, term purse. I kind of upgraded from this one because this one I've thrown around a lot. But again, this is um, this is a purse. We're going to refer to this as our policy. So as we talk about riders, I want to first talk about the ones that usually come included with your policy. So you don't have to pay extra for them. And those would be um, the accelerated death benefit riders. These are called different things with different companies. But what they mean is, if you should need to, say, take a lot of medicine because you have a chronic illness, or say you have a critical illness, or you're confined to a hospital for a long period of time, or, God forbid, you have a terminal illness. So that means the accelerated death benefit rider would allow you to use your life policy while you're still living. So if you have a $100,000 life policy and you have an accelerated death benefit rider on that policy and you find out, God forbid, that you are um, diagnosed with a terminal illness, then you could use, say, maybe even up to 80% or more, some policies are up to 90% of that $100,000 death benefit while you're still living. And you can use that money for however you choose. If you wanted to try some experimental cures for cancer with that money, you know, because your regular health insurance wouldn't cover it, then you could do that. Um, I know of a person who did that and actually got cured. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Um, but that's what we call a living benefit, something that you can use your life policy for without having to pass away to use it. So if you have a terminal illness, chronic illness, critical illness, hospital confinement, a lot of policies use those things. Uh, they have certain guidelines for it, but you can use that rider on the policy that usually comes with the policy to access money that you may need or just want to use to uh, take your family on a special vacation. So that's some good information. A lot of people don't know that life policies come with that, but it's very important. Another free um, rider that comes on life policies a lot of times is called the common carrier um, death benefit rider. And that is if you are killed, God forbid, on a plane, or train or bus, anything that's fair paying, um, your death benefit of 100,000 could double or triple. So a lot of times companies um, give you that rider for free. Uh, we refer to it as the common carrier accidental death benefit rider. Um, so you'd have to check your policy and see if yours does, but it's not going to be just if you're in a car accident. Um, because that's not a common carrier, is it? That's your own car, and you didn't pay fare to go in your car. So you have to check the fine print on that. Um, some carriers even do 25% more if you were in a car accident and passed. 
So those are some nice features that come free with your little policy. Um, now let's talk about the ones that you can add on that you pay for, the, the true accessory that you have to buy. So the first one I'm going to talk about um, has a lot of parameters to it, and that is the waiver of premium. So the waiver of premium uh, rider means, say you don't have any money, no money. You're unemployed um, or you became disabled and couldn't work anymore, so you have no income, or there's some policies that even say that you went through a catastrophe and your home was more than 25% damaged. Um, you just can't afford to pay your life insurance bill. Well, waiver a premium accessory or rider will pay the policy for you during that time. So you can stop paying on your life policy, you know, but you still have the life policy, which is really nice. Um, I know a person who used their waiver premium rider because they were hit and injured in a car accident. So they didn't have any income. They were disabled. So they used waiver premium rider to keep paying on their life policy, which was very good that they kept the life policy going. Because a couple years after that injury, that person found out that they had terminal cancer. So then the accelerated death benefit rider was available to them on a policy that they hadn't had to pay for because the waiver of premium. And they were used to, to, they were able to take funds from their life policy and take their whole family on a Disney cruise before they passed away. So it was a very sad situation, but having that life policy, having that waiver of premium rider to have them keep the policy when they had no income, and then the accelerated death benefit made a huge impact on that whole family. And that is why a life insurance policy is um, very helpful um, and it gives you benefits that you may not have known that it does. So the other riders that you can pay for, um, you can buy accidental death benefit rider as well. So if you want a rider that makes your death policy um, double or triple because you were killed in an accident instead, you can do that. You can also buy an accessory, and I'm going to use a woman accessory for this. This is an invisible strap for your bra if you have a strapless bra, but you need extra protection later that you didn't know because that bra just wasn't holding up, but you really didn't see it. So this accessory is nice um, because guaranteed insurability rider means later down the road, if you feel like a hundred thousand life policy was not enough, but you don't want to buy another policy, but you still need more, guaranteed insurability rider will let you add more death benefit coverage to your existing policy, usually without you having to go through any exams or labs or anything like that. So that's a nice little accessory rider to have in your life policy purse um, for the future. It's a nice little security benefit. <coughs> Excuse me. Another rider that you can add onto uh, the policy is called an additional insured rider. So say I have a life policy but I want to add my husband as an additional insured. An additional insured rider will give him a death benefit along with me having a death benefit for my policy. Now, I'm not a big fan of this rider, and the reason is is because I think each person should have their own policy that they're in control of. Because if you have an additional rider uh, for your husband on the policy, on your policy, and you get rid of your policy or something happens to you, then he's out. His rider was attached to that policy. So he's either got to get it off of there or get his own. Um, I like it when each person has their own policy, which brings me to the other rider you can add to your life policy, and that is a child term rider. If you have children or grandchildren, you can add a rider on 
called a child term rider, and that gives some death benefit for each child in the household uh, from your policy. So it's another accessory. I can't fit it in my purse, but um, it is important to note that you can do that. And I, I think that's a good idea to do, especially if you don't have anything on the children or grandchildren. Everybody should have something on them. And it's very inexpensive, very inexpensive to add to the policy. So the last thing I would mention about riders or accessories for your life insurance purse policy would be actually, it's not a rider per se, but it's the option to convert a term policy into a universal. So remember, this is our term policy. Imagine if you got a term policy that also converts into something else, like this term purse converts into a crossbody. Well, that's kind of cool. So a term policy that only lasts for a short period of time um, that does not accumulate cash value, you can convert it into, remember from my first video, a universal life policy. It's not really a rider, it's a conversion option. But it's very nice that you can be paying on a term policy for a while and then change it to a universal policy that can go for a very long time and accumulate cash. Um, so that's nice that uh, most policies will have that option However, it is restricted by age limit usually. If you want to convert your term policy into the universal, you have to do it by a certain age usually. So that is important. And um, that's the main parts of the riders that I wanna go over with you. These accessories that you can add on to your life insurance policy. Um, it is important to know what options you, are, you can have on the policy. You may have more than you realize. It's certain important to go over all those options. Um, not saying you should spend more money on accessories, but if you like to accessorize and it will be helpful to you and to those you care about, then you should know that information. And if you need help going over an existing policy or you're trying to decide on a new policy and you're unsure, just give me a call or you can comment or email me. My information is here, but I hope that I've helped you and I hope that you've thought about some accessories like you haven't before. Thank you.